I am Lou with another episode of my car story. You can hear in the background, we're at Woodward Dream Cruise, and I'm here with Chris. Chris, your last name? I'm Auger. And he's got an amazing Ford that I've been looking for for a while. I just haven't found one this clean, but here it is. Chris, what year make and model is this one? It's a 1976 Ford Pinto runabout. And what's under the hood? Uh, the car is one of the very few equipped with a factory V6. V6, here we go. So let's take a look at our featured attraction. So right off the bat, we're going back to 1976 and try to find a Ford Pinto, well, that looks this clean. And the answer is you had to come all the way to Michigan to find this one. Come right alongside me. Now, how long have you had this one? We finished this car up back in about 2007. Now, the interesting thing with this car, too, is you weren't going to make this a stock car. Tell me a little of that story. Well, when we bought the car, the original plan was to back half the car, and it was going to be a quarter-mile V8 conversion. <laughs> and when you finally looked at it, what happened? Well, we had uh, the VIN run on the car, and we discovered that the car was the only 76 yellow alloy wheel V6 with air that was ordered by any dealer in 1976. So this was truly top of the line 76 Pinto, even has the 76 plates on it right there. And if you're wondering, oh, I'm not sure he's got the details on that, let's take a look at what we've got for him inside. Your Ford Pinto, your runabout, and as we open it up, well, Here's the Marty report that finishes the discussion on this one. Yeah, the car was built in San Jose, California, originally sold in Portland, Oregon, and it is the only one that was ordered with all of this equipment package. You know, it, it really has taken me a long time to find a Pinto, and <laughs> you'd be surprised there are 2,000 cars on the channel, and this is the first Pinto. We'll close that, and may I open the door? Sure. Thanks. As we open the door, now would the VIN tag usually be right here in the door, or where's the-, the body tags the body? on the Pinto or on the, on the B pillar? Right I there. got you, all right, there we go. There's your, that's what I'm looking for. So as we pull our little handle up, that opens up our seat. Believe it or not, in 76, you could actually fit people back there, which is fine. Not a big person, but nonetheless. And as we close that back up, there is your instrumentation. Now the interesting thing Chris was sharing with me was they did not make they did not make a manual. No, the only way you could get a V6 and a Pinto in 1975, or 76 or 77, was with a three-speed automatic and a 3.0 open eight-inch differential. Is this car relatively quick? It's quicker than the inline four, yeah. but it's still detuned for California emissions. Okay. It's, it's, it, it, it's not that much more powerful than the four-cylinder. Runs a lot smoother, has better acceleration, but not a lot of horsepower. And the liters on it, what's the 2.8 you said? 2.8 is 171 cubic inches. 171 cubic inch V8. So not a big V8. So let's take a look here. Should have about 90,000 on it. Yeah, 91,000 on it right there. It just looks great. The Pinto, the wheel, I'll do that. The two spoke. Let's pop the hood, shall we? While you're doing that too, I'm gonna go take a look at, you have the window sticker for this one. Go ahead, I'll let you open that hood. on it. Unfortunately, we won't be able to take a ride because, well, you probably won't get this parking spot again right next to the strip, but that is really stuffed in there. Yeah, it, it is not a very pleasant car to work on. But if that doesn't say exactly what it looked like in 76, nothing does. Now, how many Pintos have you seen? I mean, I've seen let, me, let me rephrase it. It's Pintos that are stock. In the Pinto Car Club of America, the PCCA, there's actually quite a few. Really? But in Southeast Michigan, um, 
there's probably 18 to 20 pinos around in good condition. Yeah. Maybe only one or two others that are in like exactly like this mint kind of condition. Got it. Okay, let's uh, fire it up, shall we? Sure. We'll let it idle. We'll give it a little bit of a rev. Since the tail is in the uh, shade, we'll uh, we'll put the brake lights on. We're competing with a Mustang, so I'm going to come back here first. Hold on. Step on the brakes, please. There we go. Single exhaust. I feel it, but you can't even hear it seeing that we're in order. All right, go ahead, give it a little rev. No, there's no way we're going to be able to hear it. <laughs> I don't think there's any way we're going to hear it on Woodward. I don't, yeah, all right, come on out. Well, there you go. A super clean, a super clean Pinto. Congratulations for your super unique car. Not a unique car at all back in the day. We used no. to see a jillion Pintos and then they all went away. Yes. Yeah, it was like a cicada or something. It was like, a, you know, went out for a little while and then yes. they all went away. Yep. Chris, thanks so much for being on my car story. Not a problem. Thank you. Yep.